Today we're good people. Today we're going to be reacting to more TikToks. So we're on day three. So let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? So here we go on the main page itself. Oh, follow, follow, follow you. Let this year lesson. This apart. The orange cat who was accepted by a herd of capybaras at a Malaysian oh, zoo so has cool. received his own official signage and is now an official resident of the capybara habitat at Zoo Nagara. The cap So if I came across some capybaras, would they accept me? Would they accept me in the pack? And we can groom each other and eat together? I don't know. What do you guys think? His name is Oyan, and it's believed he lost his mother as a kitten, but he found his family in the capybara habitat, and he seems to think of himself as just another capybara. And the capybaras are just as comfortable with Oyan, happily welcoming him into the herd. He's been seen within the habitat for the past several years, and over time, he's become so popular that some people visit the zoo specifically to try to catch a glimpse of him. Be so what would happen if you mixed, like, a cat with a capybara? Would it be a catybara? <laughs> oh my god crazy because he's such a beloved resident of the zoo and he's made clear that he intends to stay with his capybara friends he just puts his butt in his face he's like sniff this he finally received his official signage in front of the habitat last month. Now, the capybara habitat is officially Oyan's home. Zoo staff has indicated that Oyan and the capybaras are happy and healthy with no signs of distress, so they're happy to let the friendship continue. And while Oyan has been spotted snacking on some leafy greens with his friends, he is fed his own cat-friendly diet by the zoo. I'm Jen and- I mean, he could just chew on like a piece of, of bug or something that's near him, you know, to get some protein, who knows? What's next? Look at that. That's like a, that's like a concoction jar from like a biology class. Nah, it's just a measuring cup. Just kidding, people. So to me, that's kind of a waste of a container. Because it comes in a container, correct? So why would you put it into another container? Which will cost you money, time, and resources for the world. Just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, one more TikTok. That's all I can handle. And then I'm out of here. Because some of this stuff is just moronic. Here we go. I got married recently. And these were the pancakes that turned my fiancé into my hubby. Just kidding. But they're so easy to make. And he loves them and asks me to make them every few weekends. To make these. Okay, that's disgusting. I would never eat that shit. I'm not eating that. No. Okay, I've had enough of TikTok. I'm done. The pee my brain is getting smaller. I'm getting dumber by the second. I've got to go. I'll be back on tomorrow with more TikTok reactions, people. See you later. Take it easy. And if you're new, subscribe, drop a, drop a comment, drop a like, and just do what you want. Peace out.